Book 232. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today, I'm going to tell you guys about the real origin of Memorial Day. That's right, the real origin of Memorial Day. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, A long, long time ago, one of the bloodiest battles in American history took place. This battle has become known as the American Civil War, and it was a war fought between the Union and the Confederacy. The Union being the northern states of the United States, and the Confederacy being the southern states who had made the decision to secede. In essence, during this war, there were actually two separate countries on American soil, with two presidents, two armies, two separate destinies, and two distinct flags. The president of the Union was a man named Abraham Lincoln, and his head war general was a man named General Ulysses S. Grant. The president of the Confederacy was a man named Jefferson Davis, and his head war general was a man named General Robert E. Lee. One of my ancestors, no less, was alive when this war took place, and in fact, they fought on the battlefield for the Union Army, and they left the war with much Confederate blood on their hands. This ancestor has passed down directly to me from mouth to ear many interesting facts about this war and the time period immediately after its end. One such interesting fact was this. In the wake of this most violent conflict, a holiday which is still celebrated until this present day was instituted. This holiday is known as Memorial Day, and it is said that the first national observance of Memorial Day occurred on May 30th, 1868. It was known then as Decoration Day, and it was celebrated by people decorating the graves of those who perished in the Civil War as a way to honor them and the sacrifice that they made. There was always a debate about the actual origins of this holiday, and many different dates and occasions have been presented. Some have said that the holiday can trace its true origins to a place called Columbus, Mississippi, where a group of women laid flowers on soldiers' graves in the Civil War Hospital in April 1866. However, this is not the true origins of the celebration. A historian and Pulitzer Prize winner named David Blight presented evidence to prove that freed slaves decorated the graves of soldiers a year earlier than that. According to a book written by Blight, Race and Reunion, The Civil War in American Memory, and according to the oral history that I was told, a commemoration organized by free slaves and some white missionaries took place on May 1st, 1865 in Charleston, South Carolina at a former planter's racetrack where Confederates held captured Union soldiers during the last year of the Civil War. At least 275 prisoners died, many of disease, and were buried in unmarked graves, so Negro residents of Charleston decided to give them a proper burial. Several other dates and locations have been presented as the origins, but any which predate May 1st, 1865 are nothing more than embellished lies which seek to take the credit away from the free slaves who instituted such an important American holiday. And so, the morning motivation of today is the real origin of Memorial Day. Sometimes, when you are living your life and simply trying to do things the correct way, you will not be aware of the impact your actions will have on future generations. Indeed, the good that you do today could become the good that millions do tomorrow. And even if they do not want to give you credit for being the catalyst to such good deeds, your truth will be revealed in time. So, do not lose faith because no one notices your kind acts. Your time indeed is coming. And as you go about your day today, always strive to do that which is good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning. To order books by the author Matthew Daniels, go to Amazon.com or visit www.dandyandbigherm.com.